certainly different coaching styles are effective. And you can you can see over the over the years that there have been coaches who've adopted hard nosed, maybe authoritarian type coaching styles and have been very successful in terms of wins and losses implementing those styles. And then there have been coaches um, who've adopted more of a coaching from a love perspective rather than a fear-based perspective and they've been very successful with those models. And a lot of it has to come down with who you are, what you do, and how you do things. And and I'm, I'm not going to be a proponent of which style is better or who does it better. It comes down to that coach understanding themselves and what they do and implementing that style on a consistent basis across the board so that the athletes are never questioning what they're going to get that next day. They know exactly what they're going to get from their coach day after day after day, whether it's the systems they implement, the way that they interact in their relationship, whatever it is, it's about being consistent in those things. The word positive is a touchy word <laughs> in sports. And oftentimes coaches um, are tired of hearing positive. I'm tired of hearing the word positive and why do I have to be positive and when they're not doing over and over again what I want them to do. And I first learned this from reading a study on John Wooden actually and, and John Wooden's words were that positive does not necessarily mean praise. And when they did a study in 1979, on 1976, I should say, on John Wood, and what they found was that only 6.6% .6 of his behaviors, or 6.9% of his behaviors, were praise-oriented. And over 50% of those behaviors were instruction-based. And his message was that instruction is positive, because you're teaching them something. And when somebody is learning something, it's a good thing. It's always a good thing. What they don't need is pats on the back and coddling and, um, and somebody telling them that they're the best thing that hit the gym in the last year. They, they don't need that. They need to feel like they're learning, like they're making progress, like they're working hard. They're achieving what they, uh, they're not getting something for free, but they're having to work hard to achieve something. And I think that that's one of the misconceptions around the word positive. Positive doesn't mean praise. It could mean something else.